Welcome everyone. We've got another Macy Money Method on tap today. This is Money Method number four. Max out your 401k savings. And I'm here again with my wonderful business partner, David Moore, who's a master planner of advanced studies to hopefully give you some good information for your kids and grandkids to create a great nest egg and lots of savings. So Dave, there's... Uh, the corporate 401k out there for folks mm -hmm. that work for for-profit organizations. What is it about the 401k that uh, creates the right mechanism to save, invest, and avoid taxes? Well, first of all, a company will use a 401k to entice people to come work for them. Uh, 401k is an excellent way to save money but at the same time, save taxes. So think of it as a big savings plan, but the contributions come out of your salary. So when you get paid two weeks or a month, or how often you get paid at your job, then they will take money out, put it in the 401k as if you really didn't earn that money. So if you're making 100,000 a year, let's say 50,000 a year, and you put in 10,000, I'm rounding up and all that, but it's like you made 40000 as far as taxes go. So it's very tax efficient, but it does grow tax deferred over time. So you don't pay taxes on the earnings. So one of our newest employees is my oldest son, Caleb Maisie. I try to contain my enthusiasm when uh, he's around. Uh, this is his first year in the professional world. He's trying to build a financial plan, if you will, and, and a launching pad. So when it comes to saving money, should he wait a while on starting his 401k retirement savings plan for maybe some short-term goals like building that first emergency cash cushion? Well, your company's 401k has a thing called matching. Matching in the 401k world is like free money. So he, he can match 4% of his salary. So the first 4% that your son puts into this 401k, Man, we're generous. You're, giving him four, you're giving it to him. And uh, so you definitely want to do that. You never want to not accept free money. So to answer your question, yes, he should definitely participate in the 401k when he can, at least up to the match. And then you can have a conversation about after that. So if Caleb saves 4% and Trinity Strategic Wealth gives him 4%, then real quickly he's at an 8% savings rate. That's right. And we always try to tell people, even from one of the previous money methods, uh, save at least 10%. So it's pretty easy to get to 10% right out of the gate. Mm -hmm. So if you're mid 20s, and over time, it's probably not too hard to save at least an annual average amount of 10000 per year. Right. Uh, let's say you're 100% in equities over time. Okay. What's the age range where 20-year-old young professionals can expect to be a millionaire? Well, if you're saving 10000 a year and you're making... In equities, you can say 10% a year, right? You can think about it this way, but I want you to think about it two ways. First is, it's gonna be about 25 years before you get to your million. But that's like 25 years. I mean, to a 25 year old going 25 years, sometimes the incentive isn't there because they're not feeling that kind of instant gratification. Right. So think of it this way. The first 100,000 in that scenario mm -hmm. where you've got $10,000 a year savings, 10% per year, is you make your first 100,000 in about seven years. So if you think about it as the first 100,000 in earnings takes about seven years. I was talking to my son-in-law about this the other day. He's actually at 100,000. Took him about seven years at okay. the same rate. It's kind of good. Great so advisor. Yeah, but the next 100,000 doesn't take seven years. It takes four years. And then the next 100,000 after that, 
takes about three years. So get them to think in 100,000. 100,000 increment. How Sorry. many hundred thousands do you get to million? Love it. Exactly. And he got psyched because he's like, oh, I'm already at 100. And it took me this, but and then four years, I'll be at another 100. That's terrific. Yeah. So, so there are some variables, obviously, yeah. the economy, the markets. 100% equities usually make 8 to 12%, mm -hmm. you know, per year over 10 to 20 year periods. Right. So not everybody may be comfortable with 100% uh, in equities, but I love that concept of getting to the first 100,000. Yeah. Now, uh, in our day, us older veterans, uh, you had a 401k option for pre-tax dollars, right. as you explained, and then it grows tax deferred. Correct. Someday, we, we, you and I have to pay taxes on that money. But for this generation, there's now this Roth 401k right. thing. What's that all about? Roth is same amount of savings as the traditional 401k, except all that money grows tax-free. So there's a difference between tax deferred and tax free. Mm -hmm. So you put ten thousand dollars into a four hundred one k. Traditionally, you don't have to show that as income. But when you take it out down the road, you have to pay taxes on that ten thousand. You put ten thousand in as a Roth. You pay taxes on it right then, now. But down the road, when you take it out, you don't pay any taxes. So Roth is tax free growth, which is very very powerful. And when you take somebody in their early years, in their 20s, for example, uh, the beautiful thing is many times they're in a lower tax bracket, mm -hmm. right? And when you think of things like some variables like the standard deduction right now, if you're married and you're just starting in work and your 401k has a Roth component, and you have a $27,000 standard deduction, I mean, you're going to be in the 10, 12% tax bracket. Mm -hmm which is a lot better than 30, right? And so that would be the time that you want to put Roth in there because so, you know down the road it's tax-free. Now, I hear from time to time from young people, friends of my kids, you know, who are in their, their 20s, you know, they're, Mr. Macy, should I start an IRA? So there's the traditional IRA, there's the traditional Roth IRA. Mm -hmm. uh, should these young professionals focus on those instead of the 401k? Earlier in the conversation, you mentioned immediate 8% savings right there. The reason you want to start with the 401k, not just because of matching, but matching is primarily why you want to do it, because you can put more money in. You're limited on how much you can put into a traditional IRA and a traditional Roth. But you know- Those limits can, today are- $7,000 if you're under 50. And we're already talking in the early years, you're trying to shoot for eight, nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000, hopefully right. by the time you're latter 20s. Yeah. Now, later on, when you're making more money, you can actually max out your 401k and contribute to the IRA or the Roth IRA. So you can do both. So you can do both. Right. But there's a difference between when you can have that IRA contribution deductible and when that IRA contribution can't be deductible. That is true. What's the determining, That's true. What's the determining income. factor there? Income. If you're participating in 401k, it doesn't matter what your income is. You can still max it out. Right. But once your income exceeds a certain amount, whether you're doing joint mm -hmm. or single, if you exceed a certain amount of active income, then you're limited on the being able to deduct it. Okay. So my daughter, Caleb's sister, as uh, some of our friends and clients know, works at a local hospital. It's not a for-profit company. Oh, right, right, right. It doesn't have a 401k. How does it work in her case? Because some of the younger professionals get a little confused by the nomenclature out there. Now, that's true. People are used to 401k because you hear it on the news all the time. Mm -hmm. But people go, 403b? 457? What is that? What is it? Well, it's the exact same thing as a 401k, uh -huh. except it's for employees of municipalities, uh, churches, government, uh, hospitals. So churches and hospitals typically use the 403Bs? Yeah, right. 
And then governments use 457. Well, section 457. And that's a, and that's a good point. Section. It's just the section in the IRS code. Oh, okay. Yeah, 403. Right. So whether you work for a government, a not-for-profit, or a for-profit company, uh, most of these organizations now have a way for their employees right. to save, invest, and avoid taxes. And match. <laughs> And get matching money. That's right. And that's their path to becoming millionaires. Right. There's no excuse not to do the match. I don't Just if you don't do the match, you're just giving away money. And for all our clients, we hope your kids and grandkids are on the way to becoming millionaires. And if not, send them the latest money method number four. Have a great day.